Hi there! Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can geolocate an image. If you want a quick introduction to how open source images can be analyzed during an OSINT investigation, I invite you to watch another video on our channel. During the course of this video, I will refer to some more videos on our channel. You can find the links to all of them in the description box below. Let's start with understanding what geolocation means. Geolocating an image means attempting to identify the exact or approximate geographical location where an image had been captured. Why is it important to geolocate an image during an OSINT investigation? When investigating an image relevant to the target, identifying where it had been captured could indicate where the target is located or currently present. Sometimes, it could also provide contextual information for the investigation. Now, let's talk about the different techniques that you can perform to geolocate an image. Start with analyzing the metadata associated with the image. In some cases, you can find the exact timestamp when the image was captured, GPS coordinates of where it was captured and even technical specifications about the camera that was used to capture the image. We have another video on our channel where we demonstrate how image metadata can be examined during an OSINT investigation. If image metadata is not very helpful, start with looking for visual clues from the image itself. Look at the background in the image and assess if the image had been captured in a prominent location. Let's attempt to geolocate this image. The EXIF data had been stripped from it. In the background, we can spot a famous building. It is the Opera House in Sydney. We can confirm this by performing a quick Google search and comparing the target image with the search engine results. When there are no easy visual clues in the image, you can proceed to perform a reverse image search, which will present to you a bunch of images that are similar to the target one. If any of the search results contain location information, you can pivot from that data point and investigate further. To know more about reverse image searching, follow along with another video on our channel. Let's try to geolocate this image. We can see some high-rise buildings, palm trees, a red metal structure, a board that contains the text Pepsi-Cola, and the letters NY, followed by some numbers. It could indicate the state of New York. However, palm trees typically grow in warm regions and New York is known to have harsh winters. Which location could this be? We will use Google search engine to perform a reverse image search. It appears to be outside the New York Hotel in Las Vegas. Let's follow along with the search result. We can see the same image here. As we look at more images, we can see that the red metal structure exists across a large area. It looks like a vehicle track, similar to the ones in amusement parks. We have enough information to confirm that this image was taken outside the New York Hotel in Las Vegas. When looking for easy visual clues and reverse image searching does not help, we will take our examination one step further. See if you can spot any logos, brand names, names of shops, commercial buildings, vehicle license plates, brand advertisements, street signs, etc. Examine if these visual clues provide any information about where the image may have been captured. If you spot a vehicle license plate, you can also utilize online public databases to identify who the vehicle is registered to. Let's attempt to geolocate this image. Based on the attire worn by the people, and the presence of camels indicates that this image could have been captured somewhere in the Middle East. A reverse image search has been performed. Other visual matches contain the word Qatar in the web page title. In this image, we can see a clock tower and a minaret, which is a type of tower typically found in mosques. Let us crop this image and perform a reverse image search. There is one result that has identified this location as the Grand Mosque and Clock Tower in Doha, which is the capital city of Qatar. Now we will use Google Maps for our search. I will perform a search for the Clock Tower in Doha. We can see that there is a mosque nearby 
and a patch of green land here. Looking at the target image, we can hypothesize that the image was captured by someone standing over here. Let's switch to street view in Google Maps. This will help you view that region as if you are physically present in that location. For this, click on the yellow character at the right bottom corner. The blue lines that show up indicate regions for which the street view is available. Click on this region. This image was uploaded to Google in December 2021. You can see the clock tower, the minaret, and Arabian men with camels. This scene is very similar to our target image. We can confirm that the target image had been captured outside the Grand Mosque and Clock Tower in Doha, the capital of Qatar. You can also attempt crowdsourcing, which is getting help from people on the internet. Depending on the sensitive nature of the investigation, if other attempts at geolocation have failed, you can crowdsource it. Someone may be familiar with the location on the image, or they can point you in the direction of finding the approximate location. I hope you have a good idea now about how an image can be geolocated. Download some sample images from the internet and attempt to identify where they have been captured. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!